In any given robust toy line, repaints are pretty much a given. To save on production costs, single molds and designs are often repainted or recolored and made into different characters. For many Transformer fans, repaints are pretty much the norm and are widely accepted. Even if they look exactly the same, there is no confusion between the Seekers, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. Their colors and well-defined personalities pretty much tell us who is who. But then there's the case of the Decepticons Rumble and Frenzy, whose debate over color has pretty much torn the fandom in half. Rumble and his twin brother Frenzy were both part of the first wave of Transformers released in the US in 1984. They, along with Ravage, Laserbeak, and Buzzsaw, made up the original group of cassette warriors that loyally served their master Soundwave, the evil Decepticon Walkman. Unlike their fellow Cassetticons, who transformed into animals, Rumble and Frenzy transformed into identical-looking robots, differing only in, you guessed it, color. Now to be fair to Hasbro, I don't think they had any intention of confusing us collectors. It was pretty much cut and dried from the start. Rumble was red, and Frenzy was blue. It wasn't until the official cartoon launched a few months later when all the confusion set in. And just like that, one of the greatest Transformers debates of all time was born. To be honest, I myself am not sure how this all started. Let's just say that someone basically effed up somewhere down the animation production line. But in the very first episode, Rumble made his official debut, and he wasn't colored red like his toy. Instead, he was colored blue. Okay, if you want to be really nitpicky about it, he wasn't really blue. More on the purplish or gray side. Or how about Periwinkle? But regardless, one thing was clear. He was definitely not red. A few more episodes down the line, his cassette brother Frenzy eventually made his first appearance, and unlike his brother, there was no denying here that he was most definitely red. And with that, the entire Transformers fandom has been split down the middle with toy purists proclaiming that Rumble is red, Frenzy is blue or rear fib, and cartoon loyalists insisting that Rumble is blue and Frenzy is red. Rib fear. I know to the outsider, such a debate can be considered quite pointless. But to the Transformer fans and collectors like myself, this has remained a hotly discussed debate up to today. Each side has pretty strong arguments. I mean, the toy is THE toy, which did come out first. So it should be the defining factor of determining Rumble's true color, right? But for many like myself, it was in the cartoon where we were first introduced to the character of Rumble. So while my brain says that Rumble is red, my heart tells me that he's blue. Now I don't think that this would have been much of an issue if Rumble's presence in the cartoon was that of a background character. Then they could have just called the color switch an animation error, believe me there were quite a lot of that. But despite being one of literally the smallest Decepticons in the show, Rumble was definitely one of the most featured as he played a big role in the first story arc. Ask any kid back then what their biggest takeaway and most memorable aspects of the show were, and I'm pretty sure that Rumble's earthquake-inducing pile drivers would be one of the most common answers. In one of their first battles on Earth, Rumble utilizes his trademark pile drivers to cause a tidal wave to push the power output of the hydroelectric plant at Sherman Dam to its maximum capacity. He also manages to fight off a larger Autobot, Hound, who tries to stop him. Of course, Rumble using his pile driver arms also brings home the point that this guy in the cartoon was definitely meant to be Rumble. On a side note, an interesting fact worth mentioning was that Rumble and later on Frenzy were voiced in the cartoon by the almost legendary voice actor Frank Welker, who was not only the voice of Megatron and Soundwave, but other iconic cartoon characters such as Scooby-Doo, Fred Jones, and Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget. Anyway, for most fans and collectors, the cartoon was our first real introduction to the Transformers, so for many, Blue Rumble is the official canon, despite the fact that the majority of the Rumble toys released since the original G1 version have been red. And it isn't even close. Case in point, let's do a rundown of the different Rumbles and Frenzies that have been released through the years, including those that I currently have or had in my collection. So let's start from the very beginning, the original 1984 release, which sets the stage. Rumble is red 1, and Rumble is blue 0. Anyway, the first version of Rumble that I got as an older collector was from the Alternators line released in 2006. Since by that time cassette players were pretty much obsolete, he transformed instead into an officially licensed Honda Civic SI. A red Honda Civic to be exact. Unfortunately, this toy was never recolored into Frenzy, so this is all we got to work with, making Rumble is Red 2 and Rumble is Blue 0. Next, we have the Transformers Prime version of Rumble, who still transforms into a car, but this time around colored blue. 
Interestingly enough, Japanese transformer manufacturer Takara also released the same toy with a new head sculpt but still named him Rumble, this time colored red. They also produced a blue color version and named him Frenzy. So that would make the tally Rumble is Red 3 and the first Rumble is Blue 1. At this point, there seems to be a trend emerging that between the two transformer manufacturing companies, Takara in Japan and Hasbro in the US, Takara seems more hell-bent on following the original toy color, thus releasing almost all their versions of Rumble in Red. Hasbro on the other hand is less consistent and willing to throw in a blue Rumble into the mix every now and then to continually refuel the debate, I guess. Case in point with the War of Cybertron Rumble, who transformed into a data disc, and the almost released but ultimately cancelled Reveal the Shield Demolition Rumble, who transformed into a tank, both of which were blue. So Rumble is red, 3, and Rumble is blue, 3. But just in time to set things right to their way, Takara released in 2011 a Rumble Frenzy 2-pack using Hasbro's cancelled Demolition Rumble. And as par for their course, Rumble is red and Frenzy is blue, making Rumble is red 4 and Rumble is blue 3. Okay, now let's take a quick detour to the unlicensed third-party front where I got this really early set from the company Perfect Effect. So while technically not official, these guys are meant to be Rumble and Frenzy. So with that being said, the red dude is called Warrior Type R. And the blue one is wire type F. So I guess we know what colors the guys in perfect effect think rumble is. Rumble is red 5 and rumble is blue 3. Next up we have the masterpiece version of rumble which is the ultimate updated version that still transforms into a cassette. Mine is the Takara version so it's unsurprisingly red. And even Hasbro's version this time around is red. Although I do think it's worth noting that in the US masterpiece version Frenzy is closer in color, that is, purplish gray, to the Rumble in the cartoon. Either way, Rumble is red 6 and Rumble is blue 3. In more recent times, we've gotten a good number of more Rumble Frenzy toys, both in retail and in the third party masterpiece form. So let's see how they affect the running tally. First, in 2016, we have the Titans Returns Rumble, who is red. Two years later, the same mold is released in blue as Frenzy. So Rumble is red 7 and Rumble is blue 3. Then in 2019, Hasbro gave us a little rumble for their War for Cybertron Siege line. And even in this tiny form, there is no mistaking that he was red. A year later, he was repainted into a blue Frenzy. So Rumble is red 8 and Rumble is blue 3. But just when it seems all is lost for the cartoon loyalists, let's finish up with a couple more versions that sort of fall into their side of the fence of the argument. First up is the third party company fans, I mean Robot Paradise Acoustic Wave, which to be honest pretty much messes things up even more. See the pack in cassette minion with Acoustic Wave is a little red robot called Fibrier. Frenzy is blue, Rumble is red. However, in the add-on Cassetticon 3 pack that followed, we got the same cassette robot in blue called Fear Rib. Frenzy is red and Rumble is blue. What? Jeez, pick a lane. Anyway, while this would make things a wash, given that Robot Paradise's original tent was to give us a more tune styled masterpiece sound wave, I'll give this one to Fear Rib. So, Rumble is red 8 and Rumble is blue 4. And finally, we have Hasbro bringing up the rear with their Studio Series 86 versions of the Cassetticon Brothers. Given the name, based on the 86 animated movie, which is based on the original cartoon, we finally get an official animated accurate Red Frenzy and Blue Rumble. So let's hear it for my boy Blue. Final tally, Rumble is Red 8 and Rumble is Blue 5. So there you have it. I'm pretty sure I might have missed out on a version here or there, but I think that this is pretty much a good sample size of what Rumbles and Frenzies are out there in the market. So where do I myself stand on this classic Transformers debate? Well, to be honest, despite the fact that my red Rumbles outnumber the blues in my collection, for me, my Rumble will always be the first one that I saw, which was the version in the cartoon. So ultimately, if you ask me, I'd have to say that Frenzy is most definitely red, and Rumble, well, he's Periwinkle. What about you guys out there? Which side of this historically epic Transformers debate do you fall on? Let me know in the comments below and tell me your story. Thanks for watching Stories from the Toy Shelf. If you enjoyed this story, why not check another one? And please help me out by giving me a like or comment and subscribe to the channel to get notifications whenever I upload a new story. Until the next one.